Hey there fellow developers and tech enthusiasts welcome back to our youtube channel no developer where we are about to embark on an exciting journey of building an incredible android app feature together if you are new here consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out any of our tech pack tutorials and if you are a returning viewer thank you for your continued support let's get ready to level up our app data handling game but before we begin if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tips coding hacks and behind the scenes sneak peeks be sure to follow me on instagram and threads link to my social media profiles are in the description below join our vibrant community and let's connect be on youtube okay so now we have completed our chat fragment now we need to implement the message fragment in which we are going to show the messages between two persons or in the of the group messages basically so for that purpose i'm going to create a new let's create a new fragment which is chat message fragment not chat fragment message fragment so for that purpose simply create a new blank fragment with name message fragment and let's finish this first and remove all of these things because we don't need those and uh, simply remove this all of this and we don't need any companion object also till now let's uh, now create a let's create a view bonding first here let's create the set up the basically binding here so private where binding of type here we have fragment message binding of type equals to null and then simply let's instantiate this binding with uh, what we have fragment message binding dot inflate layout inflator now we have the container here so pass the container also and it has to root false simple now we need to return binding dot root as simple as that now in on view created function we need to basically implement one recycler view other things everything okay but for before that i need messages to show so for that purpose i'm gonna go i'm going to use a repository in which i'm gonna basically create a new function which is function get all messages get all messages of chat chat by chat i mean the chat id okay simply we need to pass the chat id here and uh, with the help of the chat id we can find the basically the messages between this between those two persons between between the group participants okay so between the participants basically so you can get the participants also you can uh, get the chat id here so on the basis of that you can basically create simply find the messages so i'm gonna pass the chat id actually uh, which is of type actually what we have uh, the string type and it will return the flow of resource of list of and we need to create this message model sorry model message not model uh, not message model message you need to create this model i created before actually so first we have to check with what is the message type it's text type it's image type it's image type, video type it's document type or any other type so these basically the, there are lots of type of messages but uh, i'm gonna implement only two type of messages images and text so that so that you can get the idea of how to to differentiate between the types and according to the type you can display the particular chat okay so i'm gonna display the two type of chats image and text simple now that message so message can of type string how you can either send a text message okay or you can send the basically the uh, url of the message so and on the basis of that url you can basically check the simply whether it is a if it is a video then simply show the video if it is an image then simply show the image okay and on the you can implement the upload uh, downloader process okay so simple as that not not that big message sender and message receiver you need to check the participants here user id of the if uh, you need to just just check the participants and uh, message sender and the message receiver you have to keep the message sender and uh, receiver in the message object basically so you can get the actually whom to whom he is sending and whom to get simple no issue in that process and the in, in the and if you think how we gonna differentiate between the uh, what we can say what we can say um in the group so in the group if so basically it's why sender and receiver there are only one one uh, need actually so if you want to show the chat in the left side okay so basically if the chat is of receiver type then we are going to show that particular chat in the left side if the chat is of type sender type means i am sending the message then i want my chat to be seen on the right side this is the whole chat chat uh, thing in the whatsapp app the real whatsapp app okay if you check if you send the message then you can see your message in the right side 
and if you get any message you get this message on the left side so according for that purpose we just need that sender and receiver thing okay in the group chat there is no sender and receiver you are the sender and everyone is the receiver okay so that's first that's, that's the thing now you just need to uh, simply we just need to create a user report this class this method get all messages of chat and provide the chat id now implement this in the uh, repository implementation let's go so in the repository implementation function okay sorry function override one get all messages of type this now here i'm gonna actually do exactly same how i'm i am fetching the context okay let's just copy and paste this i'm gonna show you how we should do everything because you don't need to write similar things again and again okay so like this you can see so now here re try this send resource dot loading now loading is started now we gonna query firebase dot collection dot chats so chats the collection where not where i am gonna basically simply search the document and provide the document id here and the document id is the chat id we received in the chat, chat object okay now simply if you get the document whole document here and uh, now you can do one thing simply go to the collection again this basically gonna send you to the sub collection and here i'm gonna set the collection to messages and then i am gonna i am basically uh, i just want every message here okay so now you can see where query is of type query snapshot this is the query snapshot this is not the um something else this is the query snapshot now and uh, now the query can be add on success listener the query can be uh, basically the can be success or can be field okay now you can do anything else if you uh, can so here we are equal to where id this and this and this and this you can see so but we are just want the or you can basically just uh, press the add snapshot listener here and uh, i don't think snapshot listener here gonna work let's see if it's work or not snapshot listener ex as exception snapshot to gonna it dot okay we can get the documents here so yeah that's pretty good actually we need to do that so yeah th you can get this basically so i'm gonna just add the snapshot listener simple i'm not going to create the query here i'm just going to simply add the snapshot listener here now copy paste this thing and remove this and uh, like this so if exception is equal to null and you just change this now if exception is not equals to null then simply replace the basically respond with the with error message and if it is not then simply we need to uh, okay, let's remove this yeah snapshot dot let uh, thing we have something yeah that's it so snapshot dot let and we get the documents so now from documents i'm gonna get the chat messages list okay so for that purpose this is uh, not the chats it's basically the messages so messages and mutable list of not model chat it should be uh, sorry it should be model message now while chat equals to simply replace this with while message equals to not get chat get message from the document and create this method here private function get message from document and document should be out of simply and it should return the model message now return with model message and here we need to provide something so what we have in this message type message uh, message equals to document dot get um, message uh, message is something i think message data is uh, more kind of thing so we can refactor it actually message data this should be the right one actually or message info something else like that so message data dot to string and uh, then message type document dot get and message type 
then simply message receiver document dot get message receiver dot to string now if uh, there uh, so basically how we gonna store this message okay that's how we gonna sh uh, set the receiver so if a person sends the message to someone so the receiver is should be the model message receiver okay but in the case of group type chat so there are the two types of chats okay so if the chat type is group then message receiver type should be null actually if you ask me message receiver type should be passed to as a null okay because in the group there is no receiver everyone is receiver so you can't just uh, uh, actually show the simple the uh, you can't just show a particular chat to someone so you need to show the chat to everyone so for that purpose you can actually simply set the uh, send message receiver as null in the if the chat is of of type group chat okay so there are two types of group chats uh, one is user type chat and se second is group type chat you need to add this type of basically the chat type here uh, we don't have here currently so you need to update this so i will update this in next one not in this one actually in this one i'm going to talk about the message only okay so we get the guest map get message from the document and message receiver then message sender and simple document dot get uh, message sender dot to string and that's it now we get the message we just need to add messages dot add message or you can simply take uh, message model and message model send this as messages guys send messages let's keep this outside of this and send to the success thing so that's it now we can remove this but uh, query dot remove so you can refactor it with listener actually you can listener simple now this is how basically we are going to get the chat messages of the particular conversation okay simple i just made this very simple actually it looks like simple but it is not that much simple now uh, we need to get this from chat use case to the chat use case basically the get all chats and uh, in the chat use case i'm gonna get this chat message actually so get all um, messages of chat and provide the chat id here of type string basically it is going to equal to user repository dot get chat id and chat id simple now we are going to call this in the message fragment so let's create a new package which is message and in this message i'm gonna put the message fragment simple and uh, let's cover up everything in the message i need one thing which is message view model and this view model should be uh, should inject constructor private well um, chat use case obviously chat use case and uh, extend the view model so like this and hilt android app now you just need to create one mutable type variable private where messages list or you can see messages simple mutable state flow and uh, of type flow of list of model message and uh, we can pass the empty list here uh, sorry not flow just list of model messages and that's it simple now create the val messages of type state flow state flow of type model message equals to uh, messages okay so now you can see we have something okay so it's not mo model message it's list of model message. that's why the issue now simply we are going to simply call the one method get all chat messages and pass the chat id here of type string and uh, this should be going to view model scope dot launch and uh, actually just copy we paste from the context view model and that's it i guess context view model or you can say the chat view model you can copy any from anywhere both are working exactly same as it is so don't need to you just need to use chat use case dot get all 
messages of chat provide the chat id and then simply collect latest and inside this i'm gonna use this now we need some listener here so for that purpose let's click uh, listener and for that purpose i'm gonna create a new interface which is or uh, actually you can uh, create a new interface and uh, or you can basically pass the old interface you can do any type okay creating interface for every fragment uh, can be a good thing because uh, not every fragment actually you can use every for every uh, repository you can use that purpose so that can be the case but uh, let's create the one actually i messages view and uh, simply i'm gonna i uh, use handling that's it listener of type i messages view late in it where i messages view of type i message view and simply i messages view equals to listener so let's use i messages view whatsapp chat li contact list no it's messages then i messages view then i messages view and that's it now we need just need to call from the message fragment that thing uh, for that purpose we need to create a new variable which is private where chat view model of type chat view model sorry not chat view model it's message view model message view model of type message view model by view models simple and you need to create this of type well now use this message view model for getting the all chat messages by providing the chat id and this as the listener and i need to implement this listener so for that purpose simply i messages view and then in coroutine scope dispatcher.io dispatchers.io let's launch and here i'm gonna observe the values basically which is message view model dot collect no sorry dot messages dot collect latest and in this you need you get the a list and uh, just provide the list to the adapter okay so for that purpose we need to create a adapter here there you have it folks give yourself a pat on the back of for completing this fantastic journey with us if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers also remember to follow me on instagram and threads for more exciting tech content and updates if you have any questions or need further assistance feel free to drop a comment below and we will be more than happy to help you out until next time happy coding and stay 